Prom posts written by myself, Mangrum Shepherds. On the eve before Christmas, children were up full of joy, ready for a full present mass for each girl and boy. But what would be under the tree where there should be presents instead waits an evil presence? The children were naughty this year, getting yanked by the ear when fighting or doing something bad, and the parents get mad. Instead of Santa this year, the children had something else to fear, leading to a terrifying end. For there stands a shadow by a tree, tall as can be, and where Santa was small. The children did not scream, nor did they care, being ca- bad kids as what it would seem, going to try pulling the shadow's hair. But as they got near, the shadow was dark and heavy, with sharp, long, outward ears, and wearing a coat the color of cherry. They sneered at it, calling it dumb, as its eyes lit, with hooked feet making a thump. Its face was mostly covered in a hood, but the children could not see, or if they would, on if it would let them be. The shadow brought out a large sack from the fireplace, and placed it on the floor from it not seeming to have a face. One of the children came over to kick, making the shadow groan with pain from the harsh prick where only other children had hoped to gain. Each one came over to her to yell, telling it to leave so Santa could come the day after Christmas Eve, but it led them as it came with a price with opening its sack him that had a scent of bloody spice. It grabbed each children one by one, putting them in the sack as each were trying to run but was clawed from the back. Then it closed the children in the bag, opening its mouth, showing teeth, as the kids screamed when getting dragged while calling it a freak. The parents wake from the commotion, coming downstairs to hear the loud motion, giving them some jump scares. Then the shadow of Santa turns its head, letting the hood down to show horns that give them dread as the demon made a bound. The parents were all shook as they got out of the house to see the creature that gave a spook more like goat than mouse. The tall creature with its bag took off north to where it would drag the naughty children to get their worth. The only thing the tall creature said as the parents were startled on Christmas, the naughty will be dead for my name is Krampus. Thank you all so much and this is the 100 and 31st Palm Reading.